I'm Gene Fiskel. And I'm Roger Debit. And welcome to At the Seminars with Fiskel and Debit. Gene, today we're going to look at the latest fantasy and sci-fi movies on the silver screen. We're also going to take a look at some issues brought up by the AICPA for enhancing audit quality. Personally, I'm glad to see the AICPA taking time to look at the big picture in an attempt to help accountants become better auditors. This is addressed in our first film clip. Why don't you introduce it, Roger? Be glad to, Gene. In this clip, we'll look at firm quality, accountability, and firm tracking in this Wonderland sequel, Alice Through the Audit Glass. Is that you, Caterpillar? Well, of course it is. And I've come to tell you that you've got to get back to Audit Land at once. Audit Land? But why? The Mad Hatter is in terrible danger. It seems that he failed to list all of his engagements for his peer review. That's terrible. I thought the AICPA was working on a way to assist firms with that process. They are. But because of his neglect, the Hatter has jeopardized his enrollment in the peer review program. Oh my goodness! He could be subjected to additional actions by the State Board, as well as including the loss of his license to practice. It's worse than that, Alice. He could be banished from Audit Land. Oh no! I must go to Audit Land at once to save him! Oh, uh, Alice! It's this one! Oh, uh, right. Oh, Alice, thank goodness you've come! The Red Queen almost cut off my head over not listing all my engagements subject to peer review! I am trying so very hard to improve my population completeness! Let's see if we can go back to the basics and improve your overall audit quality. That could help! I suppose audit quality is heavily influenced by the robustness of an accounting firm's system of quality control. But Alice, I love quality control. Yes, but you cannot hide your weaknesses from the AICPA anymore. They're working to improve the detection of audit quality issues. Yes, they are introducing an enhanced practice monitoring approach. I do! Calm down. I don't need you going down the rabbit hole on this one. They'll be looking very closely at specialized industries and areas of practice. And they'll be using enhanced testing of their firm's controls to identify risks to audit quality. And lastly, they'll have increased accountability for firms that fail to comply with professional standards. Oh my, oh my, whatever will I do? Don't fret, Hatter. I suggest that you simply take more continuing education to improve your skills. More CPE? I'll go mad! Wow, that was amazing, Roger. Absolutely, Gene. I give this film a thumbs up. Me too, Roger, although the topic may seem a little scary. All that oversight by the ICPA? Yeah. But, you know, that's not what this is really about. The drive is to help firms help themselves. I don't know about that. Well, the bottom line is that we do have some issues. Let's give it some time and see if things improve. I'll buy that, Gene. Hey, so what's our next film? It's about time we got this sequel. The AICPA has realized that in certain ways they may have had some responsibility for the problems we find in poor audits. Let's take a look at threats to independence and other issues in the action-packed film Independence Issues Day 2. We found something out here, something only you might understand. Oh my goodness, that's the most messed up audit I've ever seen. How could this have happened? I thought you defeated the aliens that were ruining our audit quality 20 years ago. We did, but we knew they would come back someday. We used their technology to rewrite and clarify the audit standards, but we never realized it would result in such non-compliance. I, I was hoping we'd be ready for them, but we have to do even more. AICPA members are held to high ethical standards that are set forth in a robust requirement in the AICPA Code of Professional Conduct. 
Anyway, I thought the standards included mandates for various aspects of the member's practice. Yes, they're required to act with integrity and objectivity, maintain independence and exercise due professional care and, and competence when performing audits and attest services for clients. So how could this have happened? We thought we could save the industry by revising the code of ethics. And according to my flight manual, that revised code has a powerful search function and other enhanced features that facilitate identifying and complying with rules governing practice. You, you, you would have thought that we would be ready, but, but now we have to resort to the new conceptual framework for making ethical decisions for topics not covered. Well, that would definitely help with my independence issues. Situations that we just could have foreseen, like that one? Get ready! Here it comes! Definitely bigger than the last one. Oh, okay. That was a little weak, and I'm going to have to give it a thumbs down. Really? Yeah. yeah. I'm kind of on the fence. I mean, I, I like the movie, and I think the AICPA is heading in the right direction, but perhaps there may be more that needs to be done. Well, and I suppose time will tell. Hey, at least the AICPA is aware. So tell us about our last film, Gene. I think you're going to like this one, Roger. In this film, we see how the AICPA is trying to get CPAs to recognize their own competencies and weaknesses. And did I hear they're also rethinking how CPAs learn? Right you are, Roger. So here we go with a fresh prequel to the accounting world of Harry Potter. Let's sit back and enjoy a scene from Fantastic Concepts and where to find them. How could I have been so careless as to let these new concepts escape? I have to locate them and recapture them before they're discovered and misused. The Ministry of Magic Task Force at the AICPA has been working on a competency and learning website, offering a new way for CPAs to approach learning and competency development. Aha! Uh -huh. There's one of those fantastic beasts! What is it? This creature includes competencies covering technical, business, people, and leadership skills in various areas, as well as ethics, integrity, and professionalism. So it will allow practitioners to assess their competencies and, based on the assessment, link to tools and resources to assist them in building competencies? Yes, it's quite powerful. Owl to the Surioso! Where do we look next? Oh, how about up there? <laughs> what does that creature do? That's part of the new concepts to modernize how CPAs learn. It could allow credit to be awarded based on competency gained instead of time spent. That would truly be magical. Back in the Caseatorium! <sighs> wow! Look at that creature! What magical talents does it have? That's not magical at all. Uh, that's just New York. Oh, sorry. Look over there! What is it? It's one of the most mystical creatures ever. It's amazing. What does it do? I'm not sure, as I've never captured it before, but I believe it could create an opportunity for CPAs to earn CPE in smaller increments. That would be more easily accessible and would be one of many less formal learning channels. Quick, capture it! Lerniamosos into the Casioso Presto Changeo! That's it. I am done. I am out of here. What do you mean? It's about time we looked at learning. I mean, traditional learning may not be the answer for CPAs anymore. I'm not talking about the learning. I'm talking about that ridiculous movie. Okay, what do you mean? Well, it's, it's bad enough that they stretched out the last set of books into a decade of movies, but now they come up with this goofy concept? Well, what did you expect? And what's with that annoying? 